Hey, this is Keith from Save the Rust. And uh, I want to show you my newest find. Pretty excited about this one. 1934 Indian Sports Scout motor. Let's go take a look. So I got the call this weekend about uh, from a friend who was at an auction sale and uh, talking to the owners and the subject came up of old motorcycles as it sometimes does with my friends and they said they had an Indian motor and uh, my buddy called me up right away we started talking and at first, I thought it was, uh, they were talking about, a, you know, a 1970s climber Indian. Um, if you don't know what it is, climber made uh, or rebadged some, I think, Spanish dirt bikes of the era. And uh, I thought that's what they were talking about. And they sent me a couple blurry f photos and, uh, yeah, it was real. It was a real Indian. So, um, last night I went down to their place, pulled this out of the garage and... Uh, simply amazing so as you can see there's been some modifications to it um the, no frame no nothing else just the motor and it's been made into a stationary motor so they put on this carburetor they rotated the intake they put on this carburetor and uh fed it through this through this uh pipe into this I don't know some old can that they had it was brazed or soldered on but came off so I just zip tied it and uh yeah I guess the he had it uh since the, they said it was in the house since 72 and it was at the house before that since the early 60s and you can see it has a pulley v-belt pulley and uh, they told me that the the, the guy who had it, um, the lady's father, had uh, a couple of camps, bush camps, and and uh, there was no electricity. So this might have been used to run a generator, run a water pump, run a saw. It's it you know don't really know, but can trace it back to at least the uh, mid '60s. So this is a 1934 Sports Scout, first year Sports Scout. And this is amazing. So if you look at the serial number, it's an FCD. That's 34 Sports Scout, one, one, two. See that? Serial number started at 101. This is the 12th one made. That's the 12th 1934 Sports Scout ever made. So it probably was made on the first day of production of these bikes, which is unbelievable. You know, this is 90 years old and uh, it survived. It's, it's, it's here, you know? Um, so... I'm not an Indian expert by any means, but this is the uh, timer. And this is 34, 35, possibly 36. I can't remember. I did a bit of research on it, but 37 for sure is when they had the distributor. They had a, a gear set up and they had a distributor here and then the wires where it came off. So this one's a, a bit different. Um, there's been, there's a bit of damage on it. You know, Hey, it's 90 years old. You can see that the exhaust ports are not ports, but the exhaust flanges are blown out there, blown out there. And they for sure drilled a hole here, drilled a hole there. And that would have been probably to either put a bolt through or a spring, which they did back in the day. What's amazing is... The covers for the uh, valves 
came off like nothing and uh, I didn't do anything. They just unscrewed and they're still there. Everything's intact. The timer, the that all moves. So the oil pump has been redirected into itself. I'm not sure if they had something else, like a different oil tank, but one of them should be a feed and one's a return. So they just bypassed it and looped it, which probably wouldn't be good for heat because you're not, you know, it's air cooled. It's not getting air traveling past it. And the oil would have helped uh, cool it also. And you're just recirculating it into the bottom end. I guess it all depends on how hard you're running it. What's neat is they had two coils, um, one for each spark plug. The heads are in really nice shape. There's one broken fin here. And this side, there's none. And on the barrels, there's one broken fin right here. So for 90 years old, for banging around, you know, maybe wherever this thing was uh, being used, it's in really good shape. There is some damage here. The uh, front mount, you can see where the bolt goes through. That's all blown off. I mean, that could be repaired. There's a mount here for the inner primary that's blown out, but that can be repaired. It's just uh, remarkable. And it's, if you're asking, it's seized. I tried turning it. Uh, so, That's pretty cool. I'm I'm pretty excited. That's going to for now it'll be really cool display. Um a friend does have one of these he's restoring. So it's possible to end up at his place because he might be able to use parts of it, but uh for now I'm keeping it for a uh, a really cool display. And, you know, it's just amazing it survived. Here's what it looked like brand new. I also failed to tell you that it's a 750cc, 45 cubic inch. Doesn't look like it. At first I really thought it was a junior scout, um, 500cc, because I could use the parts for Wayland's 37 and I have a 40 also. But this motor, is the same as that one yet that one looks so much bigger pretty amazing